it's Amanda from ScreenPayMommy.co.uk and today I'm going to make um, and well, I'm going to case this lovely project which was sent to me by uh, the lovely Valerie Litton who is a Stamping Up demonstrator who is part of my team she's in Team Scrimper and she made these um, for swaps when she went to a Stamping Up event in Scotland uh, which was full of Scottish demonstrators and um, so yes, yeah, so she's made this and basically this is a wrap with pencils and then when you open it I will show you her entire thing because I'm going to case it but I'm going to change it up slightly. So here she's got this beautiful like flap that comes over and I'll just love that and it's attached at the back. She's used the treat bag thinlets which is now retired unfortunately so I'm going to use an alternative and then inside here it still smells beautiful. She's got a little pouch with um, a tea bag in there and then she did a little card and she did a little cat and um, held it all together with a little peg. It smells divine um, and I'll just, I just thought it was awesome so I'm going to imitate this um, I'm going to use similar paper, my contents are going to be different and I'm going to make my bag different. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a piece of 6x6 six six paper and I'm going to borrow the pencils out of Valerie's swap. <laughs> I'm reusing your pencils Valerie, I'm sure you won't mind. Um, <laughs> And what she's done very cleverly is she's bound them with a little bit of washi tape, which is a good idea. So you're getting a square of 6x6. Six six. This is the beautiful DSP called... Um, I've forgotten. I'll put it on my blog. I can't remember. Floral something. It's got flowers on. <laughs> I, don't, I actually can't think what it's called. So all you do is put your pencils like that. Um, or like that. And we're just going to... Um, we're going to wrap them, wrap them, not wrap them, that's me with my Yorkshire accent again, sorry, and we're going to just wrap that nicely, so they're just peaking, and so it's nice and even, and we're going to wrap that around, and then all you have to do, I mean you could do this as a, a, a project on its own, and add a sentiment, and we'll just, there we go. So that is the first half of that done. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to then, we're just going to wrap it um, with some of the dotted twirl. And we're just going to tie that in a pretty bow. Okay, let me get my scissors. Like so, in a bow. I'm just going to show you a quick tip while I'm on with this um, dotty tool. Um, I'm going to show you something. If I can ever get this bow fastened, I will. Right, so that's my bow done. I'll readjust it um, for the photo. Trim that off. Trim that off. And that's our first part done. Okay, now one thing I just want to show you with this dotty tool, if I just get myself a piece of, I want a piece of scrap really, I don't really want to use that. Let me get a piece of scrap. Hold on one moment. Piece of scrap. Okay, okay I'm going to use copy paper because I don't have any scrap because I'm, I'm, I'm the, that, uh good and that thrifty that I use on my scraps. So the dotted tool there, uh, what you can do is you can colour it with your stamping blends and you can colour this spotty tool whatever colour you like, just literally colour it. Okay, just go over it with your stamping blend and turn it over and colour it on the other end and there you go. Okay, can you see that? Let me just zoom in ever so slightly. And that has coloured that lovely dotted tool. Isn't that awesome? Love it. Right, let's zoom back out again now. <laughs> That's my, my tip for today. I'm just going to refocus my camera because it's got a bit fuzzy. So there's my tip. You can colour it. It's awesome. 
And let me just chop that off because I'm not actually going to use coloured tool, but that is really pretty. So now what else we're going to do is we're going to make our little our little bag. And what I've done is I've pre-cut and pre-scored, and this measures um oh, I've forgotten. Did I do it eight? This measures eight by six okay and I've scored it at three and three quarters and I think that one so I scored it at three and three quarters and seven I think no three and three quarters and seven and a half okay so we've scored it three and three quarters seven and a half and then I've turned it and I've just done a half inch score down there so that would be at five and a half I'll leave all of the measurements over on my blog so now I'm not having the floral side out because I'm going to have the other side so it contrasts with the floral wrap. So I'm folding and burnishing all of those score lines, all three of them. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut up the middle and we're going to remove one line of the paper because we just don't need it. Okay. Neat as you can. Oh my gosh, that's not straight, Amanda Blimey. You can use your trimmer. <laughs> Keep saying that and I don't use it myself. And then we're going to cut the small square away there. Okay, and we're going to notch. Notch there. And notch there. And we're going to notch these. Here and here. Okay. So then we're going to use these lines here to adhere and make a little bag. So just going to quickly run some tape down. And you can make the bags as tall or as short as you want. You can make them in all sorts of sizes. Just do it for the size that suits you. Okay. And then what I've got is my fancy scissors, which are actually meant to be for dressmaking, but oh well. <laughs> and I'm just going to cut a serrated fancy top like so, and I've got a little bag, okay? It's quite similar to the treat bag die, except that comes down in a dip like that, so it just is that bit of a nicer finish, but it's retired, so... You know, that's how you make your own. So to go inside here, oh, in fact, I just need to do my little tab, like um, Valerie made on the back of hers. Let me just zoom out ever so slightly. So to make the tab to hold your little thingy-me-bobber, <laughs> for want of a better word, I'm using the floral paper, and I'm going to use... Put out a nice flower. That's a nice one. Okay. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to assess how much of this I want. I want it to come down to about there, I think. I think that will be enough. I'll just trim there. So I've done it by eye, but I will give you a rough measurement. I've measured, I've cut, sorry, about five inches okay of the dotted tool so this is the back of my bag because it's where i've joined although that's pretty neat you can't actually i can't actually tell um so we'll have that as the back so what we're going to do we're going to use this circle of floral paper to anchor this down with so i'm just going to put it there and i'm going to go for more or less central and then i'm going to cover this with snail and it should just, I'll have it that way with the flowers the right way up. And that will just anchor that onto there. Okay. And then it comes over like so. And just give it a, a fold like so. Or you could use ribbon, you could use anything. Um, and then we're going to just do it. I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter actually. So I did have it at five, so I would say four and three quarters. So then what I did what I'm going to do is um 
do this one out of card. Where's my... I want some very vanilla card stock. I did have some, what have I done with it? It's gone, it's disappeared. Okay, we'll use white. No, because I want very vanilla. It's here. <laughs> because it's late at night, it's on my, on the white part of my desk and I didn't see it. I'm not blind. So I've got some scraps of very vanilla here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the word lovely. And I've got it from the Stitched All Around, which I use quite a lot. And I'm using Petal Pink, which I believe is the same colour that's in that paper there. So, which way around that way? So, I'm going to stamp that there nice and easy. I'm going to punch it out with a one and three eighths of an inch scalloped circle, like so. And then I'm going to punch some more of that floral paper. And this is a one and a half. Okay. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer these over that dotted tool. So let me just put some snail in the centre of that circle to anchor down the tool. And then... Put some on. I can't remember which way up my snail's meant to go now. It is quite late and I've been working all day. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that in the centre of there. Okay, so that's that done. And I'm just going to put some coloured pearls. Just think it just needs a bit of bit of fancy on there. So coloured pearls, I need a, my take your pick tool which I absolutely like, can't live without at the moment. I love it. And I'm just going to put a couple of pearls randomly. Uh, well when I say random I'm not very good at random. There we go. That'll do for me. So that's my little bag done. Nice and simple, okay, and then we're going to, so I'll just pop those to one side, then we've got some little post-it notes, I've got a little um, peg, and I've got another stamped lovely and a circle of DSP, which I'm going to layer on the pink side, like so. Now we need to cover this, so let me measure it, because I don't know, I'm making this up. So I want it to be about three, so it's three by three, okay. So with my other sheet of six by six paper, we want to cut this to about three and one eighth. Three and one eighth, I want three and one eighth in the length. I want quarter of an inch for to go on that bit and then I want half an inch or a quarter of an inch to go over the back. So one, two, three, four. So we're cutting it to three and three quarters. Yep, three and three quarters. So three and one eighth by three and three quarters and we're going to score it at three and one eighth. And then we're going to score it again at three and a quarter. Okay. So just fold those score lines over like so. And just put some snail on the back, on the short bit. Turn it over line up your post-it notes like so 
fold it over and that's that covered okay and then we've got the little clip at the top so you can pull it in and out of the bag and it also helps keep that stable and then we're just going to attach this get off little label here which I'm going to put in the bottom corner that says lovely so that can then lift over my little it's a bit like a table cover weight isn't it <laughs> stick that in there lift that over like so I think I want a little bit of something else on there let me think I did make a little bow oh yeah we'll have that on so I've got my little bow that I made out of two up literally I've just tied it in a bow that's it. I don't need to demonstrate that, do I? <laughs> Not on camera anyway. Okay. Glue dot to the back of my bow. Like so. And is that glue dot going to stay on there or is it going to stick on my nails? Yeah, it's on. And just stick that halfway up, that little flap. Okay. So you've got a little bow on there. Right, so now we just need to package them prettily. So let me just get that in a in a position where I'm happy with it if I'm gonna get it packaged away. Just move those down a bit. Okay, so um, again I'm using the Stampin' Up Cello bags. Sorry about the dodgy light tonight. Um, it is quite late. Will that fit in there that way? Yes, it will. So I can slip this in sideways, can I? Will it? Yeah, it fits in there. Should fit in there nicely. Oh, it's caught on the tab at the back. Oh, well, I'm again, you slippery little sucker. Okay. Don't know why I'm... I think I'm tired. <laughs> there we go. So that's in. Now that bag's a little bit large for me. I might just trim it down. I'm using these because it's just what I've got to hand. Um, you know, you can actually buy the right size bags. <laughs> But I don't worry, I, I use what I've got. Trim that down like so. Um, as I did the other day, I'm going to just adhere that down with a bit of washer. And I'm just going to use this gold stripe one because I don't have a floral one. Let me find the end. That's the challenge, isn't it? Finding the end. There we go. Okay. Tear that off, just fold that over nicely, and fasten it with a little bit of washi tape. Okay, nip that off like so. So now we'll we'll make a little that's moved. No, it's moved, it's bugging me, is that? Get back to where you're meant to be. <laughs> I'm a wash it's gone and done. But which one did I use that one? Maybe could have done with a wider washer. Don't think this one's quite wide enough. But not to worry. I fold that over. There we go. That's that done. So now I'm just going to make a, a topper for that. So this measures now uh, four inches. So if I get some cardstock and if I cut four and one eighth by two, uh, now we'll have two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And we are going to score it at one, which leaves us one and a quarter. Okay. 
give it a score. As always, when I'm doing my packaging, I like to round those corners. Okay. And then let's have a look uh, which we can use. I think we'll just use that. We'll just utilise this to just make a bit of a fancy. Use the same petal pink ink. Pop that out. Stamp it across the centre. Hopefully that's fairly straight. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, let's move that out of the way so I don't uh, snail on there. Snail on there. Line it up straight. This is the difficult bit for me because I just I'm the queen of Wonka. The queen of Wonka. That's a title now. Fold that over. We've got that little dangle there. And then we've got our pencils, which you can literally stick direct to your packaging. Like so, and you've got a cute gift set. There you go, ready to go. What, how lovely is that? That would be lovely in a craft fair, it would be a nice swap, which is what Valerie made them for in the first place. And I was lucky that she sent me one to inspire me to make one. So go and have a go. Super, super simple. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.